Hey everyone, this is a review on the Spectin Zone uh, watch model SP008, I believe. Uh, this is a watch that is sold on AliExpress and is paying homage to a certain watch, which I won't name, but is blatantly obvious, uh, as you will see. Now, there are plenty of reviews on this watch on YouTube, so I won't spend too much time on it. I just wanted to record a video uh, to present uh, my perspective on this watch. Now, this watch is uh, very affordable. I was able to buy it for 63 US dollars, around 90 Canadian, uh, shipped to me uh, in about two weeks and a half from uh, China. And uh, I wanna review, break down this review into four different sections. I'll be reviewing the case, the dial, the uh, strap, and the movement. So, this again this watch is paying homage to a very obvious uh, model of watch i won't name it for obvious reasons but i don't i just don't want this video to be, to be taken down uh, but it's a very very good watch uh, if you like this style so the case itself uh, based on the listing on aliexpress it's a 40 millimeter case diameter so it's it's a not an exactly round case it's round shape but like a uh, maybe an octagon or a decagon so the case has different levels of finishing so on the front you will have this brushing and the brushing itself is a bit off it's not completely you know straight it's a bit slanted in my case but it's not obvious <clears throat> it's not obvious uh, with a clip uh, on, on a quick glance. Then you have these different levels of finishing. So you'll have this, these two steps that will be uh, polished. And then the side of the case, which is brushed and the bottom, uh, which shows the, the case back is all polished. I don't have a uh, tester to see if it's really a sapphire glass but the listing on aliexpress says that it is um, so i'll believe them but again for 63 us dollars if it's true it's quite good if it's uh, just mineral glass i don't mind now the case itself like i said is very well finished for the price uh again the the the, the brushing on the front is not perfect but you really only notice it uh, when staring at it for a long period of time. Uh, hopefully you have better things to do than just uh, stare at your watch all the time. The There are some crown guards here. Uh, the screw down, it's actually a screw down crown, is uh, a bit gritty. So you pop it off once and you can wind it. Uh, once you just unscrew it, you can wind it, pop it up once. Uh, you can adjust the date, pop it up twice, the second hand stops, and you can set the time. So, there are contradictory things on AliExpress, as often is the case. Uh, the ad for this particular watch states 30 meters of water resistance, but the pic on the pictures, it says 50 meters. Not the end of the world, uh, but I personally wouldn't take this into the water. I'd probably remove it. But again, at 63 uh, US dollars, if uh, it gets damaged, it's not the end of the world. Now, moving on to the dial. So the dial has uh, a very, very similar dial as a certain watch. Uh, you have applied hour uh, numbers and they're very nice. They're actually very nice. And I like that you have this uh, brushed rehot Rio uh, that uh, you can see some of that, those markers uh, reflecting through it. And you have the logo and kind of a quirk here, you have Genève written on it. So uh, this watch is clearly not from Gene Genève. 
Uh, it's uh, from China, uh, but it's uh, clearly paying homage to the original design by blatantly putting the name of the Canton, the Canton where uh, this uh, original, the original design came from. And you have the name of the brand. Now, this name is probably not the names of the founder of this company, of the founders of this company, but uh, I find that the, the the way that it's written on the on the dial is 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 quite balanced, right? Sometimes you have uh, logos which stick out, but I think that the way that they uh, put the the brand the branding there and then the Genève name under it. I find it it's very well balanced on the dial, and you have this grenade style texture, uh, and uh, it's not a, a matte. Uh, it's not a matte finishing. You'll see that it uh, reflects quite a bit of light, so it's very nice. Handset, you have these polished hour and uh, minute hands and this white uh, seconds hand. The font on Spect and Son is a bit different from the Genève one, the Genève one. So this, I feel like the, uh, the Spect and Son should have had a better font than that one, than this one. But again, at a quick glance, it's actually from afar. It looks quite, uh, quite good and subtle. You know, it doesn't jump up. Moving on to the uh, bracelet or the strap, sorry, the rubber strap. It comes uh, with this butterfly clasp, which is finished a bit roughly. So the top one clicks in, but the bottom or the top where, depending on the perspective that you're looking at it. It's, it's, uh, it doesn't take the same pressure and it doesn't go in at, with the same ease as the other one. So that's my own, my biggest nitpick for this watch is the butterfly clasp. Now, <clears throat> the way that you adjust this rubber, this uh, rubber strap is you need to cut down. So initially the watch comes in with a very elongated uh, rubber strap at each end. And you can use a utility knife or scissors to cut down uh, and then put the spring bar into the groove to fix the strap into the butterfly clasp. My recommendation is to cut less than you think, uh, put it back in, put it on the wrist, put the, put the spring bar in, put it on the wrist, uh, see how much you have to take off. Um, and repeat the same process, uh, then rather than taking a big chunk and then ending up with a, a too short of a strap. I took, it took me three attempts to get the strap to the right size for me. The butterfly clasp is this type of mechanism that you just push in and you see, you can see it's signed here. You have their logo sort of a bird and then uh, etched in here is the logo still sorry for the speck of dust the rubber strap is quite comfortable it's it has these grooves for the adjustments and uh, these sort of grooves up top so it's very very comfortable uh, you have that rubbery smell and again it, it mimics it, it rips blatantly rips off the uh, original design. Final word on the movement. Uh, this is a unmarked movement. I know some ads on AliExpress states that it's a Miyoda 8250 movement, but this one is unsigned, unbranded. I'm guessing it's some sort of generic uh, Chinese movement. I've had this watch for about 12 hours and it is running maybe one or two seconds off for half a day right now. Um, the rotor is a bit, I don't know if you'll hear it. It's a bit noisy, but <clears throat> again, this is a $63 uh, watch. So can't complain. I hope it lasts well. 
these watch this watch i ordered in the rose gold with the brown rubber strap i'll put it on the wrist i sized it up for my 19 centimeter wrist which i believe is around seven and a half sorry i'm wearing a long sleeve shirt today but here's what it looks like on wrists looks really nice uh, and because I do have a darker skin tone, I feel like it matches very well for me. But this watch also comes in a black dial, stainless steel case, black uh, rubber strap, and the blue dial, stainless steel case, blue strap, same with the green stainless steel, stainless steel case and green strap. And I believe they also have a orange one. So orange strap, black dial with the red markers, uh, minute marker. Overall, it's a very, very good watch. I'm very happy uh, with this purchase. Uh, if you particularly like this design, I feel like this uh, is a very, very good watch. Uh, if you can't afford the original or you don't, even if you had the money and you don't want to spend it, uh, all on uh, a, a piece of jewelry, basically. Uh, I think this is a good alternative. Um, I know uh, there's a lot of opinions out there on homages and uh, replicas. You know, it's not the most ethically, uh, it's not the most ethical uh, way to purchase a watch because the design is just a blatant ripoff. But, you know, if you do like the design and you don't want to jump through the hoops of trying to secure uh, a rare watch like this, like the original one, uh, then this is a good way to experience that watch. And um, yeah, I, I think that this with the sapphire display and uh, the, the sapphire, uh, yeah, this uh, crystal and uh, decent finishing, let's say it for $60 on the watch and the comfortable feel of this rubber strap, and despite this really annoying butterfly clasp, I feel like you're getting quite a deal. And you know, for non-watch people, I think like I would wear this every day, and I think it looks very, very good. And you don't need to be a watch enthusiast to enjoy the look and the design of this watch. So that's it, guys. I'm sorry this video took longer than I thought. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it, uh, it, uh, helped you make a decision whether you, you, you want to buy this watch or not, or if you just enjoy uh, watching watch reviews, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks and see you in the next one.